Gordon's least favorite run was the last train home. It was usually pitch black in the autumn, with leaves falling all around. As the rain pelted on his boiler one stormy night, Gordon squinted through the gathering fog. As he sped over the old harbor, shapes seemed to leer at him from below. Thomas's junction was completely empty and honestly quite eerie. Gordon rushed past the entrance to the old loop, which had been closed many years ago. He peered along the old line in the distance, his paint curled as he thought he saw shapes moving in the distance. Must be tired, Gordon sniffed. seemed like forever, but he finally crawled into the big station. He was at the recently renovated through platform since there was no shunter. This meant he had to drag the coaches into the newly laid sidings at the yards. The passengers got off and soon Gordon left the big station completely empty. When he switched into the yards, he thought he could see something moving at the platform up ahead. Gordon froze and remained in the yard sidings. As he peered into the distance, he saw, to his horror, a train pulling out of the station in the opposite direction, towards the old branch line. Quietly, Gordon followed the unfamiliar engine. His boiler ran cold as he saw the shabby yellow paint of the other engine. Molly, Gordon gasped. He had only seen the ghost once, over a decade ago. The old engine slipped through the long abandoned tunnel leading up the coast. Did you see it too? Gordon jumped. Percy, what are you doing there? I, I broke down, but you saw her. Yes, let, let, let's get out of here. Percy was shocked that Gordon was willing to help him, but said nothing. The two arrived back at the sheds, safe and sound. Both remained silent as they stared at the shed wall. It was a boring view, but it was better than seeing the figure in the mist.